Hi, welcome to this Fiverr Academic course in the scope of the security chapter and specifically regarding identity management key rock generic enabler. In this lesson, I'm going to explain you the general architecture of this component of this generic enabler. Um, and then I will uh, give you some pointers to the documentation uh, you need to perform the installation and the configuration of this uh, generic enabler uh, on your own infrastructure. Okay, so let's start with the architecture of this component. Keyrock is basically formed by two components, Horizon and Keystone. That corresponds to uh, the two components, uh, the two projects of uh, OpenStack. Okay, but we have uh, included or we have extended extended them, including uh, several extensions and modifications that um, are imposed uh, by the features, the new features we need in Fiverr. Horizon is the front-end component of Keyrock, and it's basically used to uh, manage the user interface of the component, okay? But uh, it also exposes several APIs, uh, basically to manage uh, OAuth 2 tokens. On the other hand, Keystone is the backend component in charge of managing, uh, firstly, the API of, uh, of the component, but also uh, to manage all the resources that uh, take part in this uh, component. For instance, users, projects, um, applications, so on. Moreover, this component is connected to a database in order to add persistence to uh, this environment. Okay? In this uh, picture, we can see an extended architecture of this component of Keyrock when we add or when we configure the connection to uh, this other uh, security uh, component that is the authorization PDP component, the Auseta Force component, in charge of uh, managing permissions. Okay? This component is the PAP and the PDP component of the uh, authorization part of, uh, of Fiverr, of security in Fiverr. So this component is in charge of administrating the policies and also of uh, take, taking the decisions um, of which users are or not or are not allowed to perform specific actions in the firewall resources. Okay. To add persistence to this uh, new resource, to the permissions resource, this component is also connected with a database. Let's explain um, first, uh, firstly the Horizon component that basically is the main component of OpenStack project. But uh, as I anticipated before, we have uh, added um, several components that are needed um, to add the new features we, we offer in Fiverr. Okay? The first component is the user interface, the, the Fiverr user interface that consists on a total modification of the uh, views that uh, Horizon uses, okay? So we have designed all the interfaces, redesigned all the interfaces in order to offer you this, uh, this um, uh, user interface you can see when you are using the component, for instance, in the Fiverr Lab, uh, in the Fiverr Lab instance, okay? We have also introduced an OAuth 2 driver that is needed to perform all the things related with this um, authorization protocol in order to create, for instance, to create uh, OAuth 2 tokens, but also to uh, validate tokens. We have also included a CAPTCHA module in order to enable these uh, mechanisms, these uh, CAPTCHA mechanisms when a uh, user uh, register in the, in the platform. We have also included a Fiverr accounts module that is used to manage the different type of users that we use in Fiverr, trial, community, and basics users. 
And we have finally introduced a component that uh, manages all the stuff related with the administration tool we offer in Fiware for uh, infrastructure owners. For instance, the uh, email tool to notify, to send notifications to user. Uh, or, for instance, the tool that we offer to manage user accounts, giving their permissions uh, or changing the kind of the type of users uh, of uh, account each user uh, has. Okay. Here we can see also the uh, Ausita Force driver that is used by Horizon to connect to this uh, authorization PDP generic enabler if you want to configure it. In Keystone, we also use the OpenStack uh, Keystone Pred as base of this uh, of this uh, component with the Keystone API uh, as it is. Okay, so we are exposing the same APIs that uh, that the vanilla Keystone component offers. But we have introduced firstly two new APIs. The first one is the, the one related with the OAuth uh, version 2 uh, protocol and the second one, the scheme 2.0 uh, component, okay? That is a wrapper of, uh, of the users and project API in order to uh, enable massive, uh, massive uh, requests okay? to, these, to these APIs. We are also uh, offering a uh, two-factor authentication extension that uh, is used when a, when a user wants to enable the two-factor uh, or the two-steps authentication mechanisms in order to improve the security of the accounts and also a user registration extension that is made uh, that is um, used during the registration process because as you know in Keystone the registration the user registration it has to be made by administrators. Here we enable uh, mechanisms to uh, allow users to register by themselves. Okay, so once we have seen um, this uh, general architecture, here we can see the links to the uh, installation guides of uh, this component of Kiro. The first, uh, the first one is a link to a quick installation guide and the second one to a detailed installation guide with a step-by-step -step process to, uh, to uh, be able to install this component in your own infrastructure, okay? So now I'm going to, to show you um, an overview of these uh, both uh, guides, okay? So let's change to the, to the browser in order to, to see uh, the read the docs documentation, the read the docs documentation um, page. Okay, so here we can see the the main page, the front page of this uh, of this um, identity management uh, key rock documentation, and as you can see, we have uh, an overview of uh, of the component. Okay, with uh, the requirements and a small guide of how to install this component. This is the quick guide I, I, mean, I mentioned before, okay? So here we can see, uh, firstly, the, a list of the requirements of the component and then the, the steps to perform in order to install, firstly, the backend and then the, the frontend, okay? We also provide, uh, as you can see here, uh, a Docker image in order to be able to, to install uh, or, to, or to deploy a, a Docker container with this uh, component installed. And also we, we provide uh, an image in the Fireware Lab uh, cloud environment, okay? So you can go there if you have, the, you have a trial or, or a community account in, in Fireware Lab and with just one click um, deploy uh, pre-configured instance of, of Keyrock, okay? We finally provide a chef cookbook in order to also facilitate you the installation. Here we can see the link to the detailed uh, installation and administration guide that we can also find uh, here in the, in the navigation bar. So let's go there and let's see how in this case we have a detailed guide 
uh, with the step by step in installation. Okay. Again, we have uh, firstly the steps to install Horizon, Horizon, and then the steps to configure it. Okay. And um, then after this uh, configuration uh, configuration guide, we can see how to run it in a development server and then how to install Keystone, okay? Not only the Keystone base, but also how to uh, install all the uh, extensions I have mentioned before. Finally, uh, um, the specification of how to configure and run a uh, Keystone, okay? So, following these guides, you will have uh, a running instance of this component uh, in your own infrastructure, okay? So, thank you uh, very much for, for your attention. Here we finish this, uh, this uh, five word lessons, this five word lesson, uh, and see you in the next one. Bye.